Hi everyone, my name is Kayla Delatre, and today I will be talking about infertility and its effects on marriage and relationships. So to start off, I'm going to go over some of the basics. So what is infertility and what are its causes? So infertility can be defined as the inability to conceive after trying with a year of unprotected sex and without the use of birth control. Um, so in females, there could be many reasons why infertility occurs. It could be disruption in ovarian functioning, obstruction in the fallopian tubes, and the physical shape of a woman's uterus. Now, I know sometimes um, women actually have two uteruses, which could make it uh, difficult to become pregnant or uh, keep a pregnancy going. Um, other, uh, other diseases can cause these problems, such as um, STDs like chlamydia and gonorrhea, and also polycystic ovary syndrome and endometriosis. Endometriosis could be the cause in females. Um, moving on to males, um, what causes infertility in them can be hormonal issues, certain genetic disorders, disruption in the functioning of the testes and ejaculation. Um, and this could be from like blunt force trauma and to the testes and all things like that, um, cancers. So some minor causes, um, some couples do experience when it comes to infertility could be just having sex at the wrong time of the month when um, a woman is not ovulating, um, having too little sex, and the use of lubricant lubricants which can disrupt the sperm from entering a woman's cervix properly. So some statistics. Um, so according to the CDC, um, some statistics include that 6% of married women in the U.S. aged 15 to 44 have failed to conceive within one year of trying. 12% of women have difficulty getting pregnant or carrying a baby to term once pregnant. 35% of couples that are trying to conceive have both female and male contributions to the problem. So it's not based solely on the female or solely on the male as to why this is occurring. And in 9% of couples, male factors are actually the sole issue. So what are some treatments? Some treatments um, for infertility include some fertility drugs. Um, I personally know that a few of my friends who are actively trying to get pregnant, um, they take a fertility drug called Clomed. Um, there's artif artificial insemination, um, in vitro fertilization, embryo transfers, and uh, surrogate mothers. So what are exactly its impacts on a marriage? Well. I was looking at a few studies and the, there was two that I chose to look at. So a study um, conduct, conducted by Hirsch and Hirsch back in 1989 found that infertility can cause negative impacts on um, self-esteem, self-identity, sexual satisfaction, and marital satisfaction. Um, so individuals who do have this problem may feel defective because they can't conceive, so it will lead to a less of a desire to have sex. And this may even lead to females feeling more masculine instead of feminine, because they feel they can't do the one job a woman is supposed to do. Um, so when couples did not communicate about the issue um, often and openly, they were actually found to be at greater risk for marital dissatisfaction. Um, another study was conducted by Peterson and colleagues, and in this study he looked at 40,000 Danish women. Um, and what they found here is that unfertile Danish women who have undergone unsuccessful fertility treatments were actually three times more likely to divorce or break away from their cohabiting partner. Um, he also found something that that was kind of interesting. He found that in some cases, some rare cases, that infertility could actually drive couples closer together. Um, because, maybe because, as a psychology major, I know that if you go through like a major 
life event with somebody, um, it just, it could make you guys feel a stronger connection, which is probably what's happening here. Um, but in all reality, it's more likely to drive them apart as a couple. Lastly, I would like to include here that people, everyday people who go through this are not alone. Um, we actually see a lot of celebrities with infertility issues. I know that Chrissy Teigen and her husband, John Legend, have had multiple in vitro fertilization sessions before they finally conceived their first child, which she's adorable, by the way. Uh, and I also recall um, from memory that she suffered from a miscarriage within the past year. And the famous Kim Kardashian and Kanye West use a surrogate mother, um, and I believe they actually use a surrogate mother not just once but twice because she was told that if she gets pregnant again, she can die. So um, I just feel like it's always good to remember that you're not alone. There are many people going through the same thing you're going, to, going through. So with that being said, my suggestions as a psychology major would be some couples therapy slash counseling, you know, um, that way you guys can figure out ways to go about the problem um, in a healthy manner and uh, figure out um, ways to just get through it together without hurting your relationship. Um, and like I said before, I just think it's very important to inform these couples that they're not alone in the matter. It, just because they can't conceive does not make them defective as a person as a whole. Um, so, with all this being said, um, some takeaway points is just that <clears throat> fertility, infertility is common, infertility can happen to anybody, and infertility is more likely to drive couples apart rather than closer together. Here are some of my references, and that is it. Thank you so much for tuning in.